Hi, my name is Mitch Mitchell. So let me tell you this little brief story. Last week, someone put up a video on Facebook. And I wasn't necessarily sure what it was going to be, but I knew the guy, so I figured, okay, this is going to be interesting. So what happened in the video is it was either in England or Ireland. I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> it could have even been Scotland, but I don't think it was a Scottish accent. Anyway, they were in some kind of plaza outdoor, and this really pretty, really shapely lady, young lady, came walking by, and she's wearing one of those little half tops, you know, that maybe comes about that much below the breast, you know, it was kind of tight. She was very shapely, very pretty, and there was this guy who had to be drunk. I'm sorry, he didn't have any alcohol on him, but he was just drunk, and he started calling her a whore and asking her why she was dressed like a slut. Now, I don't know who was filming this thing, but, you know, she was like, what? I'm sorry? And he just kept calling her that. And she says, why are you saying it? He said, well, look at how you're dressed. You must be a whore. How much would it cost to have a night with you? And he just kept on and on. And then this other guy showed up to try to protect. He says, what? What are you, her pimp? How much would you charge me to spend a night with her? And then there were these couple of other ladies who were sitting there, and they were laughing at first, and then they kind of didn't like it, so they were throwing french fries at him. Like that was going to do anything. But now he didn't like that. So this other woman comes up. And she's wearing a coat. And she's got something in her hand. And I'm not really sure what that is. And she doesn't like that this man keeps saying this stuff to her. And now he's calling everyone else, all the other women, sluts and prostitutes and all this other kind of stuff. So then this woman comes up and she says, what is your problem? Why are you doing this? And he says, this is none of your concern. Oh, you're probably a slut and a whore also. She says, oh, you want to see a slut and a whore? And she hauls her arm out, and it turns out she's got a thermos. And it must have been a glass thermos because she smacked him in the face. You see it shatter. You see the cuts immediately on his face, and he goes down, and he's out for the count. And you hear all the people, ooh, oh, ooh. And then she says, he deserved that. You deserved it. You're a pig. And she spits on him. <laughs> and I laughed. I laughed. Heartily. Matter of fact, I laughed so much, I had to watch it two more times. Now, that's kind of violent, and you don't like to sit there and say that you support violence, but you know, something I say a lot on some of my other videos, and I write about it in my blog, is that there are consequences for actions. There are consequences for negative actions, and people think that they can get away with saying anything they want to to anyone they want to, and this guy here... During the video, he proclaimed that, one, he has the right to say anything he wants to because it's a free country, although he went in America, so I didn't even know they used that phrase anywhere else. Two, he's a man, and as a man, he has superiority over women, and he can say anything he wants to about them. Yeah, that will really endear you to any woman you want. And three, when he started to get antagonistic toward everybody else because they were coming to her side and trying to protect her, you know what? This is three strikes, you're out. And she knocked the heck out of this guy. And like I said, I'm not one of those people who wants to support violence for violence's sake. But I am one of those people who often says, you know what? If you're not prepared to have someone dislike what you say and how you said it, don't do it. Now, I also have to throw this in. There was this thing that some of you know about where the University of Missouri had these students that said they were going to protest to get rid of the president of the school because he hadn't addressed, addressed a bunch of racial harassment issues that had been happening on campus. And once the football team joined, the guy resigned and no one expected that to happen and all this other kind of stuff. Well, some Fox News reporters, and I hate Fox. I hate Fox with a passion. But I don't watch Fox. However, someone shared this clip and I saw it. And this lady, I don't know who she was, was upset at the students who protested. And her protest was that freedom of speech does not mean that people have to say things that you like. As a matter of fact, you don't have a right to have people say things to you that you're supposed to like. And I'm thinking, 
Wow! Is this the pot calling the kettle black? Because the Fox News people are the touchiest people in the world. They say all this nasty stuff about people, and then when people complain about it, they go on their shows and they complain. Can you believe what they said about us? I can't believe they said that about us. So <laughs> let's talk about pot calling kettle black. You know what? If you can't take it, don't do it. You know, come on. I have pulled... I think two practical jokes in my entire life. I'm 56 years old. I pulled two, and both of them were tame. Okay, on one of them, the guy did get slapped by some girl, but I didn't know that was coming, but still, that's it, because I don't like practical jokes pulled on me. I Luckily, I've never fallen for a practical joke, uh, because most people know I don't like it, so they haven't done it. You know, it pays when you're, you know, six foot tall and over 200 pound black man. And I mean, now that I'm older, no one even thinks about it. When I was younger and had a quick temper, nobody wanted to take a chance. That worked out well. Like I said, violence doesn't solve everything. Violence shouldn't solve anything. But the threat of violence can definitely solve a lot of things. Still, I'm wondering what you people think about this. What do y'all think? Was this lady in the right to smash this guy in the face with this thermos and have it blasted? We don't have any idea. Did he go to the hospital? We don't have any idea. Did they try to track this lady down? Did she get arrested? Did anything happen? We don't even know who filmed it. I don't know where it went up. I just know that someone shared it on Facebook, and that's the only thing I saw. But, you know, we think about this thing with language. Consequences, freedom of speech, freedom of not having to deal with certain people saying it, responsibility for the right to have freedom of speech. I ask these questions all the time. I'm asking it again. I wish I could find the video to share with you. You know what? I'm going to search it. If I can find it somewhere on wherever, I will share it. I will put up a link. If I didn't put up a link, then you know I didn't find it. Uh, that's all I got. Anyway, I'm Mitch Mitchell. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I'm doing this now because I've heard you're supposed to ask for it. If you didn't like it, well, just give it a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> Take care. Y'all have a good one.